Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud. Um, you're going to be really disappointed because um, basically what happened was half the recording cut off. So you just, you just probably just saw, I don't know, I've already done two floors here and I thought I would just do some stuff. Oh! Grr. So basically I had like a weird problem with the, with the capture card again. But it luckily enough caught the first half of the video, so I'm hoping that... Um, Come back here, Billy. Billy! As in, you know, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy with a weird... I don't know where he's meant to be from, Jamaica or something? Jamaican Grim Reaper? I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched it. All I remember is him like, Billy and Mandy! Yeah, I think he's meant to be some sort of, like, Caribbean dude. Um, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> like I was kind of saying, um, I had this weird sort of problem where it captured all the good plot line and stuff and it captured about a minute worth of this dungeon so <clears throat> I basically decided to not bother redoing it because it's only two floors so anyway yeah this is the uh, gallery of time which takes place in Dark Heaven Castle and every single floor you go across well I'm not sure if it's every single floor of every few floors maybe but the carpet slowly gets in a better condition. Let's put it like that. The carpet slowly get, like, uh, recovers itself over a period of time. That you gooed me up, but because I'm in stamina it doesn't really matter. Um, so, wow! <laughs> With stamina I'm doing a thousand damage. That's pretty impressive. Um, so basically, yeah, what I was going on about is how the carpet will slowly get better as you progress into the dungeon, better quality. I suppose it suggests that over a period of time it wore out and stuff, but because you're going back through time it appears to be in better condition. And this is why we make sure that all of our weapons have lots of metal breaker on them. Um, my drones have the broke though, so I'm going to quickly get another one in my inventory slots. Been sitting right. This is weird. I've been sitting here eating brie, as in the cheese, for the past like five minutes or something. I'd really fancied some cheese, and I've got some cheddar downstairs as well. As I'm well known for eating a shed ton of cheese, but I thought, you know what, let's go for something French this time. And I've got some right here on my desk. I've still got it on in its packaging, so I can just take bites out of it like that. Well, I'm not just eating straight from the block. I um, cut myself little slices and eat it. It's one of the nice circular shaped ones, so you just kind of cut in, cut a wedge out of it and eat it away. I think I've eaten right, two thirds of it today. <laughs> Probably shouldn't eat any more though. Um, yeah. I, I've been going through like a really weird dietary habit at the moment, where I've been eating sort of like, um, like I've been eating quite a lot one day and then not eating very much the next day. Like last night I had like, I know you get like quarter pound of burgers and stuff. So I had like a quarter pound of hamburger and then like a hamburger, but beef burger. I don't know why Americans call them hamburgers. There's no ham in it. It's all beef. Um, but yeah, I had a burger last night. And then I decided I wanted another, and then I realised I wasn't home. Uh, well, I wasn't full, but I didn't know how much I was going to do. So what I thought I'd do is I cook. I'd cook the two that I had left up, and then put them in the fr well, put the one that I didn't eat in the fridge and eat that for lunch today. But then I decided I wanted the other one as well. So I ate basically a pound of meat last night, <laughs> as well as some chips. Actually, they're more like fries, to be honest. Oven fries. So they're not the ones that you actually fry up. Oh yeah, quickly, before I say anything else, I must point out that when I was there, I did actually find a um, star a G Crusher. Oh, yeah, you see, I broke down... I've broken down my jackal into it, and um, I've got this G Crusher now, which is like way better. 
especially when you get up close, it does like six, 60 damage and like 100 damage to the flying enemies and stuff. So, it's pretty effective. So, that basically means Osmond is actually now useful. Damn it, I want some more coke, but... I basically bought a bottle while I was out, because I went to I went to drugstore to get something, and then... decided I wanted some coke. Hmm. Two in a row? Fuck. So I'm supposed to like getting murky or something. Cruel, I think. Fuck it. Tone's coming back out. He's the only one with like thirst reducing power, so. Mimics on floor four. It's like the moon all over again. I really don't like mimics. They seem so redundant. But they've got an interesting sound when they bounce in this dungeon. They don't sound like they do in any of the others. In the others, they kind of either make like the sort of. Yeah, it's kind of like a metallic -y sort of sound. But yeah, I don't know. They either make a thudding sound or like a. like the padding of feet or something. I'm gonna repair my sword just because it's gonna die if I'm not paying attention. Um, so I actually bought a bunch of gems actually from him. Also in the last video to stick on Tone because I decided I was gonna level up Tone's weapons first, just because he's the closest to it, and also because he's the main character, I think he kind of should be the one to do it first, I guess. If that's the X, I'm going to have to skip back here, I'm going to cut it. Oh yeah, I'll just check the Atler and stuff, because in this, the Atler is actually not... Oh yeah, I suppose I should show you that as well first. The Atler isn't actually buildings, it's fragments of Sailor's memory, so you can see his memory. So we'll watch Crowning Day first, just because. By law and my will, the crown is yours. He proclaims with his last breath, and I begged his lifeless form. Tell me, Father, what should I do as king? And then, Night of the Ceremony, which I haven't read yet. It was the day of my crowning that I met you. Your blue eyes catch mine once and then you vanish. Who on earth are you? So, we got a lot of memories to get through. I think this dungeon's the longest of the storyline ones. Which would make sense. So I'm I might not show every single floor. We'll see what happens. Um... Although I might just be just to prolong the LP because we're getting towards the end now. Although I get the feeling that the finale will either be one long part on its own or might be split into two, maybe. I haven't decided. <laughs> Fucking mimics! Bloody piss me off. Okay, but at least I got another trans feather. And Atla, more Atla. Maybe this will actually give us a an event or an actual. Yeah, so he gave us a part of the next thing. And the good thing about this place is it tends to give you um, stuff related directly to that memory, rather than um, just random bits and pieces which kind of get put together later on to kind of try and make heads or tails of something. Um, oh, I think I already got the pitch dark key. So yeah, we go in here do that. Open that all up. Shazam. Um, I've been watching too much Ego Raptor recently. That guy is fucking hilarious. I love it. I love his cartoons. They're just brilliant. I think my favourite of his is probably Awesome Chaotix. Yeah, he's the guy who does the uh, Awesome series, just for the record. Yeah, like Metal Gear Awesome. Awesome Center and all that lot. Um, I honestly think that it, Awesome Chaotix is the funniest, but for some, it's just... It, for some bizarre reason, it appeals to me and my brother, but it doesn't seem to appeal to everybody. 
because I don't know. It's just they ca I kind of find something really funny about it because of who knuck well the, the, how he voices knuckles in it in particular is very funny. The things he gets him to say is brilliant. Um, we'll go up here first, then I might skip down to the water. Actually, no, what's the point of skipping down to the water? I mean, I'm just going to get thirsty again anyway. Actually, why would I do that when I can do this? She's got a really powerful weapon now. I could put Holy on it as well, that would do loads, but... Um, she's got the healing ability as well, so it means when she gets thirsty, it doesn't really affect her because goals. Also, I had a bit of a thing with Arnold Schwarzenegger films recently, like watching Predator and stuff. I think I already mentioned watching Predator to you lot, but yeah. Because it seems to be that um, I it doesn't take me long to do a couple of floors, so I'm probably going to do several floors at a time in this dungeon. And because of obviously the app there and stuff is much more simple, you haven't got to play play around with houses and watch tediously long cutscenes. You can just get away with doing two or three floors at a time, about three or four floors actually in this place. To make up for the time, um, but well, that, that obviously means that this dungeon is going to be over pretty quickly. So I'm conscious of that. But I don't really want to go ahead and do a all 100 floors. Well, I don't want to have to show all 100 floors of the uh, demon shaft. So it'll be interesting to see what I do um, when I've beaten the finale of this game because I'm not necessarily going to um, what was I was going to say I'm not necessarily going to do something I'm not, oh right that was it yeah I'm, I'm not necessarily going to do the um, demon shaft straight away um, I might kind of make a start on the next one or something um, People seem to like the idea of Lost Odyssey, but that would that requires me to upgrade my capture card, and I don't have the money for that at the moment. So you might have to make do with something a bit shorter in the meantime. And people don't people don't want to watch Spyro, but I might do it anyway, just because. I know Biff Tech, you you in particular are a pain in the ass. You really are. Sorry, I just felt something weird on my. That was a bit bizarre. Pain in the ass, Biff Tech, you really are. Can't make your freaking mind up with anything. Oh god, my TV's spazzing out. Hang on. I could play on my. That's really weird how that was happening. Yeah, I was gonna say, I could play on my TV, on my laptop, but I'm not going to. Go this way. Um, yeah, what I was going to say is I might just do like a really short LPF Spyro because it doesn't take that long, and it's it's a cool game. I'm sure quite a lot of people who watch it will like it. I can't imagine there's any reason for you not to like it. I mean, you never know. 
I think what Biftek said his problem with it was is that it, he doesn't think it's very up here or something. But I reckon I can show him up on that. I reckon I can prove him different. Prove him wrong, even. Prove him wrong. Prove him different just doesn't make sense. Um, okay, so what have I got? I've got Minister, Knight of the Storm. I need the Minister here. I need the bed. Buggy. What the fuck would the buggy be for? So we're going to bring back Tone into the lead just to take care of this Amelia shit. So, oh, Sophia, and this is probably the buggy. Cool. Sweet. Okay, we well, guess we can now do that. Reunion in the storm. I want to meet you again. That's all I can think of now. Then the minister rushed into my room in a panic. Prince's buggy of neighbour country is missing in the storm. I reunited with you one hour after that. Okay. Seems like we got some kind of love affair going on here. Attachment back. Oh, okay. Because uh, Osman is so frickin' gooed up at that moment, and he's uh, so slow. Oh yeah, um, one thing I really haven't commented on last time was the fact that I did more of the stupid voices. Um, sorry about that. Um, I, I really had no idea how they were going to sound when they came out. Um, people seem to like it though, strangely enough. Well, so I'm sitting there thinking, oh my god, I sound like such an idiot. But some people are like, oh yeah, it's cool, it's cool, I really love it. And I'm like, hmm, really? Personally, I don't understand why, but you know, I'm not going to complain. Oh. Well. I guess... That's it for now. Um, I'm going to cut it here and... Fuck, I'm like dying here. I'm going to sort... I'm going to try and stop this recording now to make sure that the uh, fucking capture card doesn't freak out anymore or anything doesn't crash and destroy everything so uh, when we come back we'll do more of the um, dungeon and uh, of the Juroma and uh, yeah I think it should be pretty good